Hello, everybody. CBD Miner here with episode one of uh, Automatic Minecraft. That's what it's called. Uh, this episode, what am I talking? I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This episode is all about cact the vertical cactus farm. This is what you'd normally see for an extended cactus farm that's bigger than this initial block. Nine by nine, the usual block, for me at least. And you'd usually see them staggered like this, up one block each time. But I felt that that was a little bit too, too big. I just didn't like how, if you wanted to extend it, it'd take up so much room. So I came up with the idea for a vertical cactus farm. I, I know, please don't rage in the comments, I know I'm not the first to come up with this idea. But I, I, I can tell you I didn't search for it online. I came up with this during this series. I'm only going to come up with stuff. I'm only going to use things that I come up with. I'm never going to search something and use it. That's that's cheating. Just spreading somebody else's work. Uh, this is the vertical cactus farm. It's nine by nine, nine by nine, so that this water only reaches the right here, and I could put an extra one right here, so that you know, everything leads right into this hole. Now, what I have it in is it's in the in standard gr grid with every other block is cactus because, you know, cactuses can't have one block next to it. That's why, that's how you actually farm because each one of these, whenever they grow up one, they'll check and see if there's a block next to it. And since there is, it'll pop right off, fall down here, won't get caught on any bits like this, which is what would normally be there. But, uh... Thanks to my genius putting these two here, you can have almost 100% gain from each of these. Nothing will get caught. Unless, of course, it falls on separate cactus, then it gets destroyed. But that's in inevitable, unavo what? unavoidable with this kind of setup. But still, less gigantic and takes up, takes up a lot less room than the standard one. I personally like it because it's very... It looks good. It's like a tower and you can cover it. You don't have to look at it all open and weird like that and see like a giant standing thing. That's a future project I'm working on. Now, I'm going to go to the video where I, I'm gonna time lapse a video right after I explain this actually. This is my deonator, is what I call it. It's a deonator. Uses a uh, light sensor, which is in vanilla, mind you. It'll, it powers up this redstone, and it'll keep this torch off as long as it's daytime. Whenever it deactivates, this torch will turn on, activating this con this uh, command block so that it sets the time to day. So that it's always day. I don't ever have to type in that stupid command to make it day. Much less annoying. Little tip for you builders out there. Use a deonator. I'm using it in my adventure map I'm making right now. Much easier. But uh, this makes about, uh, I don't know, 10 cactus? No, it makes about 50, 20 cactus every minute. Which is pretty good, good for, you know, the amount that normal Minecrafters want. Which is none. <laughs> the only reason you could ever get them in vanilla, the only reason to ever get them is for the color green and I don't know the only reason to have a cactus farm really is to either just have it to have it or to have it because you're gonna make your entire house made out of green blocks and it's gonna be gigantic but I'm gonna skip to the time-lapse where I build that over there uh, don't forget to pause whenever you can to uh, see what the next step in building is so that you don't get lost it is a time-lapse mind you can't keep up and don't forget to leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for the next episode of Automatic Minecraft, which will probably either be a semi-automatic farm, a wheat farm, not that. I, I found out a better design than that. Or it, it'll be either that or a reed farm, an automatic reed farm. And the automatic reed farm, I mind you, will be pretty small. So... Whoa, a little bit of lag there, but I'll cut to the video now. Uh, see you guys later. Uh -huh. 